Hello everyone, welcome back to A Tray Your Crochet. So in today's video, I am going to be making a water bottle crochet holder. Okay, I was asked by one of you guys to make one and I've never made one before, so I'm gonna be making this on the fly. And yeah, let's just get right to it. All right, so things you will need. You really only need one skein for this, but I wanted to use some of this leftover camouflage yarn. And so I'm going to use, I'm going to make the body of the crochet water bottle holder and camouflage, and then I'll make the strap in black. Okay, so you, if you're going to use two colors, then you need two skeins. Otherwise, you just need one skein. The yarn is a medium four, and I'm going to be using a size J, six millimeter US crochet hook. You are going to need a pair of scissors. As always, you're going to need a darning weaving tapestry needle as always and you're going to need some two millimeter elastic bead cord finally you're going to need a water bottle okay so it all depends on you know the girth of your water bottle this is what i'm going to use and so i'm going to show you how i'm going to use it a little bit later okay let's get started you're also going to need a tape measure All right, so before we get started, I just wanted to create this little insert to let you guys know that you're gonna be making this today. So this is a water bottle, and this is the holder, okay? My initial plan was to make this just the holder without the strap, but then I ended up deciding to make a strap as well, because I'm like, well, if I can, have water with me, which I usually like to keep water with me. It'd be cool if I don't have to hold it. I mean, this is convenient, but it'd be cooler if I could just put it over my shoulders and carry it with me. So this video will show you how to make this, and then it's gonna show you how to make the basic black strap. After I finish the basic black strap, and after I stopped recording, I ended up adding a border, okay, and then I also, ended up adding like the center part to kind of tighten the stitches so it didn't give as much so there wasn't as much stretch so you guys will have to let me know if you want to see how I made this part but um, yeah you'll learn in today's video how to make just the straight up black strap how to attach it to the actual holder part and you'll definitely learn how to make the holder okay but the strap is really cool you just put it over your shoulder your arm yeah you know, and you go like that okay all right now let's get to the video all right so we want to know roughly the diameter of this water bottle so I'm going to take the water bottle along with my tape measure and I'm going to measure it just put it there okay and the diameter is three you can't see it but it's three inches okay so I know how wide I need to make my circle that's gonna serve as the base of this holder and then I want to measure the height roughly I want it to come up to about there okay so if I get it to like anywhere between seven and a half and eight inches I will be happy okay so I have my measurements now let's get to crocheting all right so we'll start with the slip knot yarn over twist exchange Wrap that over your finger. We're gonna pull this one over this one and off the finger while pulling up on the one that's still on the finger. We're gonna insert our size J six millimeter US crochet hook, and then we're gonna pull to tighten. All right, now we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now, in working into this first chain that we made right there, we're gonna put 14 double crochets okay so yarn over go back into that first chain at the very beginning the first one we made and I like to get two loops you can do just one but two works for me yarn over pull through to the front three loops left on the crochet hook yarn over go through two so yarn over go through one loop two loop now yarn over again and go through two more one loop two loop okay 
yarn over, go back into that first chain. All of these double crochets that we're currently making are going to go back into that first chain. So I've yarned over, go back into the first chain. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Three loops, yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go back into that first chain. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Okay, so so far I've crocheted three double crochets and I know it's kind of hard to see. That's why I have this white background, so hopefully that helps. But basically you're going to crochet now 11 more double crochets into that first chain, okay? I will see you after I've completed my 14 double crochets. See you there. All right, I thought I'd get back on because I'm in a lighter part of the yarn. Still making my double crochets. So for those of you who couldn't see the black, yarn over, enter that first chain, okay? Yarn over, pull through to the front. Three loops. Yarn over, go through two. One, two. Yarn over, go through two. One, two. One more. Yarn over, enter that first chain. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Three loops. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Okay? Hopefully, now you can see exactly what I did. Alright, so I've crocheted my 14 double crochets. And I'm back to that chain three that was left by crocheting all of these double crochets into that first chain. Remember initially I chained four, okay? That left three chains there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bypass that chain three and I'm gonna go right to this first double crochet right there, okay? I'm gonna slice the icing off the top of the cake and I'm gonna just slip stitch. So when you slip stitch, you just yarn over and pull all the way through, okay? Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. All right. So this round, round two, I'm going to put two double crochets into every stitch. Okay. I'm not counting this chain three as a stitch. Okay. But I am currently working in that first double crochet there. So I'm going to put two double crochets in there. Okay. So yarn over, slice the icing right where you slip stitched. And make one double crochet, yarn over, go right back in there, and make that second double crochet, two. Okay, the next one is here, yarn over, one, two. Every stitch around will get two. Yarn over, next one, one, back in there for two. Next one, yarn over, one, back in there for two. Okay, continue putting two double crochets into every stitch around and I'll meet you there. And just like that, I am at my three inches. Okay, so this fits my water bottle. So now, you guys probably can't really see, but it does. Okay, so now I'm going to start working my way up. Okay, by the way, this is the outside. So it's gonna be like this. And then I'm going to now crochet the cover, the holder part of it that's going up vertically, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I want to slip stitch into that first actual double crochet there. So once again, I'm bypassing that chain three on the slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet, yarn over, pull through, like that, okay? By the way, if you have a water bottle that it has a bigger girth, like a larger diameter, then you can continue making more rounds, increase rounds until you get to the desired girth, uh, your desired diameter. Also, if you have one that's smaller, then maybe you can use the half double crochet stitch instead of the double crochet. Um, you'll just have to play around with that, okay? All right, so now I am going to chain three, one, two, three, okay? And I don't want to increase anymore. I just want to maintain the number of uh, stitches that I have, okay? So, and by the way, I have 28. I have 14, round one, round two, because I put two stitches in every stitch, I have 28. But the number in this case doesn't really matter because, because the diameter 
it depends on you know the diameter of the base of the water bottle okay so just make sure that it's wide enough all right so now because I want to kind of create a base I'm going to work in the backs of the stitches okay and as I said this is not an increase round this is a round where I maintain so watch what I do I've already as you seen a slip stitch into that first double crochet now I'm going to go back in there and put a double crochet but I'm going to only enter the back loop of the stitch so I slip stitch there right there I'm gonna here's the top I'm gonna work into that back loop like that now yarn over pull through to the front I have three loops yarn over go through two yarn over go through two okay and just keep working in the back loops I'm gonna keep working on camera until I get to the lighter part of the yarn so that you can see exactly where I'm entering okay all right so here's a light top so I yarn over here's the whole top I'm going to skip that front one and I'm going to go into that back loop there like that. See? Okay. See how I split it? Now I'm going to yarn over, pull through to the front, three loops, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay? And just continue working like that around. One double crochet into the back loop of every double crochet around. I will meet you there. So as you can see, I've made it back around, putting one double crochet into the back loop of every double crochet around. And as you can see, by working in that back loop, I really create a defined base, okay? So that's the bottom of this crochet water bottle holder, okay? So now I'm going to bypass this chain three and slip stitch into the first actual double crochet there. Remember it. It's there. I'm just going to slice the icing off the top of the cake like that, yarn over, and pull all the way through. All right, so now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Right where I slip stitched, that's where I'm going to put my first double crochet into the entire top, okay? So I'm no longer working into the back loop. You see I have two loops there, so I'm working into the entire top now. Yarn over and create a double crochet. So I was thinking, but this would be cool, you know, since this is camouflage and we have the army theme going on to like create some netting, you know, because there's a lot of netting that you're climbing, you know, and you're doing the ropes courses and things like that for training. So the way we're going to create a netting is this way. So we're going to make a double crochet and then chain one like that, skip the next stitch and then put a double crochet in the one thereafter. Okay, so this was the double crochet, then we chained one, we skipped one, and then we put a double crochet in the next one thereafter. Again, chain one, skip the next double crochet, and then put a double crochet in the one thereafter, like that. One more time, chain one, skip one and go and put a double crochet in the one thereafter okay and then we get these spaces okay so continue doing this on around and i'll meet you back around there see you there so we made it back around i don't know if you guys can see but i only have one more stitch left depending on you know how much you had to increase you may be left with two stitches so if you only have one stitch then do what i'm doing right now even though I put a double crochet there, I'm not going to skip one, okay? What I'm going to do instead is just put another double crochet in that final double crochet there. So there will not be a gap there. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet there, like that. So I'm bypassing this chain three there, and I'm just going to slip stitch there. And so that section will be solid and this will be a good way to know where you are okay um if you had two stitches here left so say your last double crochet was there where the gap is and then you had these two free then you could chain one skip one and then put your last double crochet there and then just do what i just did now slip stitch into the actual first double crochet there okay it's not a big deal all right so continuing on we're gonna chain three one two three 
and we're going to continue doing what we did just in the previous round okay so the first double crochet will go into that double crochet the one below it we'll chain one and then we'll skip this space And then we will put a double crochet into the double crochet. Okay, like that. And then we'll chain one. Skip this chain one space there and put a double crochet into the double crochet. Like that. Okay, so we will continue with this netting pattern. Okay. And yeah, let me finish this round and then I'll give you further instructions. So I chained one, I'm gonna skip this chain one space and put a double crochet into the next double crochet. Okay, so continue on and I will meet you back there. All right, so I'm back around. I did my final chain one, skip one, and then put a double crochet into the next double crochet. And then remember, I always have that next double crochet as the final stitch, so. I'm going to just not chain one and do the skip and create a space, create a gap. I'm just going to put a double crochet into that double crochet like that. Okay. And then once again, I'll skip this chain three there and I'll slip stitch into the actual top of the double crochet like that. All right. And you're just going to continue making these rolls with the gaps. So I'll chain three, one, two, three and then match it every stitch below. So this is a double crochet. So I'm gonna put a double crochet in there. Same place where I just slip stitched. And now there's a space, so I need to chain one to skip the chain one space and then put a double crochet into the next double crochet that you see. Like that, chain one, skip the chain one space and put a double crochet into the next double crochet that you see in the previous round, okay? So it's very easy, you guys. So remember, I took a measurement across. This was three inches. And then I said the height of this, I wanted it to be anywhere between, I think, seven and a half and eight inches. So I'm going to continue making these gap rows, or the rows with the gaps, the netting, if you will, until I get to seven and a half or eight inches, OK? I will meet you once I get to that point. Once again, it's going to depend on the height of your own water bottle okay that will determine how far how many rounds you should crochet of these you know gap rounds i want to say rows so badly <laughs> of these gap rounds or the rows with the or the rounds with the gaps i did anyway or the rounds with the gaps okay so the height of your water bottle will determine that all right all right let me shut up and let you crochet i'll see you soon all right you guys so as you can see i've gotten mine the height to just about eight inches okay so I'm gonna stop with these gap rounds and I'm going to make a solid round now okay so like always skip the chain three slip stitch into the top of the first actual double crochet there and know we're pull all the way through all right for this solid round I'm gonna make half double crochets, okay? So chain two, one, two, and then we'll make our first half double crochet by yarning over, entering the same place where we slip stitch, which is the top of the first double crochet there. We have three loops, and this time we're gonna yarn over it and go through all three loops like that, okay? Now we're in the chain one space, yarn over, enter the space like that, okay? Yarn over, pull through to the front, three loops, yarn over, go all the way through. Yarn over, here's the next double crochet, slice the icing off the top of the cake, yarn over, pull through to the front, three loops, yarn over, go all the way through. And just keep putting one half double crochet into every double crochet below, and also every chain one space below, okay? And this will now fill in the gaps, okay? I will see you once I get back around here. All right, so I'm down to my last two stitches for the round. So I'll just make these last two half double crochets. And then I will slip stitch into the first half double crochet of the round like that. 
top of the stitch. So bypass the chain two, and slip stitch into the top of the stitch. All right, yarn over, pull all the way through. Okay, now I'm gonna pull my loop, make it really big, and I wanna slide this onto my water bottle to see what I'm working with, okay? All right, let's put this on, test it out. Oh wow, very nice. Okay, so this is what we have, you guys. Okay, and I love it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to put, I'm gonna bring in this bead cord, all right? And I'm gonna crochet one more round just to incorporate the bead cord, okay? so that it'll definitely stay. I mean, as it is, it's fine. It'll stay like this. It won't come off because, you know, the bottle kind of fans out a bit. But just to make sure it's secure, that's why I'm gonna include the B cord. So yeah, let's do that right quick. All right, so to start this, I'm gonna make my loop small again. Just pull it back in like that. All right, and now I'm gonna chain one and I'm just gonna put a single crochet into every stitch around, okay? I'm also gonna take my bead cord and just kinda go around the opening just to kinda gauge like how much I'm gonna need, okay? And I'll go a little bit, I'll give myself a little bit more slack than I actually need to get the job done better too much than too little and then I can always shave it down later okay so I have my bead cord okay I'm at the beginning I've chained one and now I'm going to start putting single crochets into every stitch don't forget to put a stitch into the place where you slip stitch which is the first half double crochet there we're gonna lay the bead cord on top just like that okay and this can get a little tricky trying to hold everything <laughs> but we'll get it just take your time all right so here's the B cord I'm gonna put that behind like that so that it's lying on top of the yarn okay I'm gonna hold it down with this finger in my right hand all right and now I'm gonna enter that the top of the half double crochet like that put the cord down you can even hold it with your left hand if you want that makes it easier okay and with a single crochet I did not did not yarn over first so I just went in yarn over now pull to the front two loops and now this is the important part make sure that you crochet over the B cord so yarn over and pull all the way through like that and now it's in there it's not coming out okay and then we're just gonna put one single crochet crocheting over this bead cord just the way you crochet over her tails if you're trying to high thumb you crochet over the bead cord so don't yarn over because it's a single crochet and pull through like that so enter yarn over crochet over the bead cord pull it to, through to the front two loops yarn over go through two next one yarn over go through two next one yarn over go through two enter yarn over pull through through the front two loops go through two okay so continue doing that and I'll meet you back around there all right we're back around and here's my last stitch so I'm just gonna put a single crochet in there crocheting over the bead cord like that okay and now I'm back around so you can pull on one end to kind of even it out so you have you know kind of equal lengths and then you can pull it a little bit tighter. Okay. All right, so now that I've crocheted that single crochet into the last stitch, I'm gonna slip stitch into the first single crochet there. So I'll move the beat cord out of the way. <laughs> Just kind of put it to the back. All right, so now it's to the back. Your yarn is in the front, okay? See if I can get close for you guys. Okay, so here's the first single crochet. I'm gonna slip stitch into there and then pull through. I'm gonna chain 
one, cut my yarn, and then fasten off like that. All right, now, in terms of this bead cord, I'm gonna tie some knots. Now, I'm gonna pull it so that this closes a little bit like that, okay? And then I'm just gonna tie a couple of knots. So, one, the first knot will be the size that you want the opening to be at its tightest, okay? All right, now I'm gonna tie a second knot tighter because that won't affect the opening, okay? And then I wanna tie a third knot just cause, you know, really wanna make sure it's secure and I can pull that super tight, okay? You can cut these down, you can just stick them in, you can pull them in. In fact, if you have a crochet hook, a smaller one, or you can use the same one, just pull it in so that the beat cord is on the inside of your work, like that. You can put, pull it through more stitches to really make sure it's in. So like that. In fact, let me get in there, good, okay. Like that. And now that they're tending in, in to, you know, the crochet water bottle holder, you can cut them down like that. Okay, all right. Now we can put this on our on our water bottle and for this tail you can also pull that in you can cut it down I mean it's up to you I always like to do this I like to yarn over pull it through and then instead of pulling it all the way through chain one so that it tends inward and normally I would leave a little tail which would mark the back of a tam or hat or something but it's not really that big of a deal okay and you have this all right, so now for the water bottle part, <laughs> we will just fit this onto our water bottle. And you want it to, you want to have to open it up to get it on the water bottle because that will ensure that it holds once it's on. Okay, so there's a nice tight fit right at the top. Okay, so you literally have to pull with a lot of force to get it to even come off. Okay. All right, and here's the bottom, just in case you were wondering. Okay, so it looks really nice, you guys. I, I'm loving this. All right, so now I'm gonna make a strap just because I said I would. I don't really use a strap. I usually like to just hold it by this, but because I said I would make a strap, I will, okay? So I'm not gonna make an elaborate strap. I'm just gonna make something that's kind of short that goes from you know, this side to that side, okay? So let's make this. All right, so working with my black yarn now, I split this in half, okay? So here's the back, if you will. I just split it in half. And now I'm gonna attach the black yarn to the midway point. Like here's, I folded it in half and now I'm just gonna pick the center point. Well, not the center point, three stitches with the middle stitch being the center point. So I'll go to the right of the stitch through the top like that. Yarn over and pull through and then chain one to secure it. Okay. And now I'm going to put a single crochet right where I slip stitch. So back in there, yarn over, pull through to the front, yarn over, go through two. And then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and then the third stitch, two. Okay. The reason that I'm using the single crochet is because it's nice and tight and it'll be really secure. Okay. And so now I'm just going to make rows this time of single crochets. In fact, you could do four stitches. So let's do one more just to make the, the strap a little bit wider. So I put one single crochet into the next stitch. All right. So now I chain one, I'll turn my work. <laughs> and put a single crochet into that very last single crochet of the previous round so the very first stitch that same stitch i go back in there and put a single crochet and then i just put one single crochet into every stitch so i'm always going to be making four single crochets per per row okay now chain one 
tear my work again. <laughs> Don't forget that first stitch, okay? That's what's gonna allow it to stay straight your edge, okay? So just continue putting one single crochet in every stitch, chain one, <laughs> turn your work, and once you've gotten your strap long enough, then I will show you how to secure it on the other side, okay? I will see you there. All right, guys, so as you can see, I decided to go ahead and make a proper strap so that I could throw it over my shoulder. Yes, I don't need the strap because I have this cord, but this will be easier because it'll make the water bottle holder hands-free, basically, because I can just throw it over my shoulder. All right, so in terms of how long to make your strap, obviously it's gonna depend on the person's torso. Just to give you an idea, I made mine 48 inches long, okay? And for those of you using the metric metric system, I don't know if it'll focus, but that's 122 centimeters, okay? And while I'm on this side, the height was between seven and a half to eight. I think it was actually eight, okay? Um, so that's like between 19 and a little over 20 centimeters and then the diameter of the base that circle three inches is about just a little bit over seven and a half centimeters okay so those are your measurements for those of you using the metric system all right so now it's time to finish this up so i've created as I, as you see this long strap so really all i need to do now is attach it to the other side Okay, so let me pull this loop small again. You want to make sure that it's laying the proper way, okay? Make sure it's not twisted in any way before you secure it, because that would be bad. <laughs> so, all right. See this little twist there? I want to make sure that it's not twisted, okay. So now, from this end to this end, Now, now it's flat, okay? All right, and I'm going to try to find the same four uh, single crochets on this side, and I'm just going to attach it, okay? So I'm going to line it up with these four, okay, the two light green and then dark green. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Slice the icing off the top of the first stitch. I'm going to pull in that loop and then I'm going to kind of slip stitch. I'm just going to pull it all the way through. Okay. And then I'm going to chain one. And then I'm just going to slip stitch across. Okay. So the top of the next stitch, and the top of the corresponding stitch on the other side. Just get in there where you can. Okay. You see that? Yarn over and slip stitch. Just try not to snag anything like that, okay? The next one, I'll slip stitch into the third black single crochet. Okay, yarn over. So basically I'm just connecting these with slip stitches, okay? And then the final one right there, slip stitch into the final single crochet on the strap like that. Yarn over, pull all the way through, and slip stitch, okay? So now you'll see this is attached, okay? Now I am going to yarn over, chain one, cut my yarn, fasten off, and pull it in, okay? And now I'm going to take my darning weaving tapestry needle and I'm going to weave in some of this black yarn into the strap to make sure it doesn't come undone okay so just go through some stitches wherever you can get in doesn't need to be super precise okay it's all black anyway so you shouldn't see it you can go up and then if you want you can go across just going through some stitches 
pull, okay? And I'm going to do one more and go down. So I'll re-thread or yarn this. That split pretty badly. Okay. All right, and now I'm gonna go down. One last time through the stitches. Just get in where you can. You can make sure it ends on the inside just to make sure that it doesn't show through on the outside of the strap. All right, and now we can cut this down like that. As far as this one, that was where we chained one. I kind of want to make this a little bit more secure. So I want to take my crochet hook, go into a, just a nearby loop somewhere in the work, yarn over, pull through. And remember, before you pull all the way through, chain one, and that'll create a little knot. And then pull, pull it through like that. Now there's a knot there and that should not come undone. And now I'll cut this down as well. All right, and now we have this awesome crochet water bottle holder. Let's put the water bottle in it. All right guys, so here you have it, the crochet water bottle holder with the accompanying strap. And let me just give you a little tip. Make sure you make your strap shorter than you think you're gonna need because this is, even though they're single crochets, it's gonna be somewhat stretchy. And then when you add water to this, the weight is gonna you know, pull it even further down. So if you make the strap exactly the length that you think you need for your torso, it's actually in reality gonna hang a little bit lower, okay? So just keep an eye out for that, but that's gonna be it for today's video. You know, I'll see you in the next one in the meantime. Happy crocheting.